I'm Pastor Steve. I want to talk to you just for a little bit about the end of days and how confusing popular end times teachings can be and, and how, how difficult those teachings can be for us. I'm using Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 and 2, which says, In many and various ways, God spoke to our ancestors by the prophets. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by a son, whom he established the inheritor of everything and through whom he created the ages. Now that passage talks about these last days. It's very worth remembering that those words were written 19 centuries ago. More than 19 centuries ago, these last days. Now, in the time of Jesus and in the time of the early church, people were expecting the immediate return of Christ from heaven with armies of angels in glory to stomp out the originally the Romans and, and to lead the people back to the ritual purity of the past. Then in Christian times, they were expecting Jesus to come back again, wipe out all the bad people and bring all the good people up to heaven. Well, this teaching just keeps repeating itself because we get so hung up in our own troubles and so I have suggested and do suggest that the end of days, the end of days is what you and I experience in those moments when we realize that the way we've been thinking and acting and speaking isn't going to work anymore. When Life's troubles bring us to the point where we realize we must change and walk forward into a new way of living, into a new heaven and a new earth and a new way of seeing things. That's the end of days. And it's brought to us through the hardships, the toil, the tribulation, and the difficulty that we experience. It's not about geography or this nation against that nation. It's not about politics or this political party against that political party. It's about us and the feelings we have every day as we live. Apocalypse is just a metaphor. It's a metaphor of spiritual and cognitive renewal. I'm Pastor Steve. Take a look at my website, pastorsteve.faith.